I have to tell you, you guys got the best elected officials out here. Yes. 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 It is remarkable how hard uh, Phil and Joe and Eric fight every day for the Rockaways. And they're fighting out here. You know, the great thing about them fighting, though, is that they know that when they go to City Hall or when they go to the governor's mansion or they go to the state legislature, that they have the support of the entire community yes. that is backing them up, up, yeah. back yeah. home. Yeah. 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 So it is a remarkable team that we bring uh, to the legislative bodies. So I'm the borough president of the entire borough. And as such, it is my job to bring economic development to the borough of Queens. It is my job to bring housing to the borough of Queens. It's my job to make sure that people know when they visit the city of New York that they have not been to the city of New York unless they've been to the borough of Queens. Yes. Yes. And when we meet with every agency that comes to my office and we talk about economic development, we talk about high tech in Long Island City, and we talk about hotels and retail in Jamaica, and I talk about the fact that we have the most beautiful beaches in the world right here in the Rockaway. And we have folks we that are living out there and every day keeping up the fight to get funding that we deserve because of Sandy to make sure that we build better and bigger and more appropriately out here to protect the community of the Rockaways but also to make sure that we put the Rockaways on the map, to make sure the folks know when they come to the city, they can come out here, shop, spend their money, make sure they see the institutions that we have out here. It is the perfect place to do it. So the Rockaways is on the map, if I have anything to say about it. But it's not going to happen easy without the ferry. It is not going to happen. In order to have businesses know that they can come out here and create jobs, in order to have businesses stay out here that are employing folks out here in the Rockaways, in order to make sure that folks can get in and out to spend money to work with the community, you need the ferry and you need the ferry to be permanent service. Yes. 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 So we do want to thank the mayor of the city of New York, I'd like to take an opportunity to acknowledge the community board as well. Morris is out here, our district leader, Lou Simon, uh, and all the folks that worked hard to make sure that this was extended. But now it's extended. Now, in order to give confidence, this needs to be part of the yearly budget. It needs to be made sure that it is permanent, that folks know they can invest out here, and that there's good transportation to get in and out. And you also need that for folks that live out here, clearly, and hold jobs all over the city of New York. So we're out here to support the ferry. We're out here to thank the mayor of the city of New York. We're out here to send a message also that it needs to be permanent. The RFPs, my understanding is that the RFPs responses are starting to come back, and we're excited to see how that works out. But we are insisting that this remain a permanent part, not of Queens, not of the Rockaways, a permanent part of the city of New York. Yeah. Yeah.